made in Hollywood. Now streaming on Hulu, Oscar-nominated director Lee Daniels takes an unapologetic look at one of the greatest jazz vocalists of all time in the United States versus Billie Holiday. Peace and blessings. My name is Andrew Day. You're watching Made in Hollywood, and this is a scene from the United States versus Billie Holiday by Lee Daniels. Don't you know who this is? She was thinking of something more special. I'm downright flashy, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Billie Holiday. Reporters keep asking me, really, why you do the things you do? This is what I tell them. First off, Andrea, congratulations on the nomination for the Golden Globe for Best Original Song and for Best uh, Actress in the Drama category. That like almost never happens because this is your first acting role. You <laughs> may even be nominated for an Oscar. I think you're gonna give aspiring actresses the wrong idea. <laughs> that it's possible, like the first acting role. I'm like, okay, now I have a Golden Globe and an Oscar. <laughs> well, well, I mean, first of all, thank you so much. And it is a blessing, but it's a blessing that I really owe to Lee and to my entire cast and Susan Laurie Parks. And, you know, this is a team that he put together that insulated me so well. You know, they they, they were superb at what it is that they do. And he, he really humanized Billie Holiday and told a story we didn't know about that was revelatory for people, and that allowed me the space to, to be able to, to make choices. I love me. We love you. And the bless you piece says, Billie Holiday is the voice of our people. I think we should integrate the audience for this show. Let's change it up a little bit. The main reason why I wanted to do this project is because it was a different narrative than I think we're used to. We have seen, and it was iconic, Lady Sings the Blues. But then you got to see through this project a more in-depth look into her interpersonal perspective. You know, I, I love any opportunity to tell the stories of those who you know, directly came before us and got us the place that we are now. Blacks and whites sitting together. You know what you were getting yourself into when you decided to come on the road. Get out of my goddamn clothes. I'm gonna take everything except your bra and your man. <laughs> when I learned of the script and I read the script and I saw that this is an opportunity to uh, bring someone like this to, to the front um, and to create a visual for him, um, I think it I think it serves well for, for my community. Which one of my songs is your favorite song? Strange Fruit. Yeah, it's a song about important things, you know. Things that are going on in the country. Actually, Diana Ross notably portrayed Billie Holiday. Um, yeah. Did that ever come up while you were on set at all? The fact that she had portrayed the character and now you're in uh, this film about Billie Holiday? Well, of course, yeah. I mean, um, I've known Lee for a long time. He's a close friend of mine, and I was shooting his show Star when he, when all this was happening. That was such a big part of my life growing up, and uh, and that movie that was the first movie my mother did, and at the time being nominated for the Academy Award and reviving this incredible story of this magnificent singer, Billie Holiday. This holiday woman's causing a lot of people to think the wrong things. It's a starting gun for this so-called civil rights movement. Those lyrics provoke people. Y'all got a plan? She's a drug addict. Exactly. I play a character named Harry Anslinger, who was the director of the Federal Bureau of Narcotics, a man who was obsessed with arresting Billy simply for uh, being an addict, for singing jazz music. Trees. Get her off that stage. I, I think she may not have faced as much legal trouble as she was in, but she was never going to be comfortable showing you the reality you liked looking at. She was always going to show you the thing that whether the America or the world didn't want to see. You're like a hammer. Come right back and it hit harder than before. She's singing it for all of us. Ain't no other Negro stop bold enough to do it. And the film explores, of course, racial injustice, which is still prevalent today. But why do you think this year is the perfect time for this film to come out and for her story to be brought to light again? It's an opportune moment right now, post uh, George Floyd and post everything that we've gone through this past year. It's always timely, I'll say. I don't, it would have been per the perfect year 
20 years ago. It's been a perfect year, 40 years from now. It's always going to be relevant, this movie. At first, I, you know, I just thought it was relevant in the moment that we were in. You think I'm gonna stop singing that song? Your grandkids will be singing Strange Fruit. Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.